What's up guys, Chainsaw Chuck here again. You probably remember me talking to you about my last job where I was a traveling men's skincare specialist. Not that anymore. What happened was one time I was gutting a possum and I was like, this smells just like Mountain Ocean Breeze, which was one of our scents for our face cream. I had a great idea. I squeezed all the stuff out of possum guts, put it on my face, smelled amazing. I started just killing possums and squeezing all their guts into these little bottles, selling that. Turns out they look into things and you're not apparently supposed to put possum guts on your face. I beg. To differ. Now I'm a gas station attendant, which is actually a pretty good gig. This is my pump. I have pumps five through nine. Vicky keeps trying to come over to my pumps. She's supposed to stay over there on pumps one through four. I hate Vicky. And I kissed her sister. She knows. Sometimes super cute girls roll up. And the boss said I'm not supposed to talk to cute girls. I'll pretend I'm washing their windows. I'm really staring at them. Sometimes they get really bored and I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I do this. So I switch them. Not sure how they fill up these things. Probably a funnel on the roof. My pumps are skimmer free unlike Vicky's over there. I know you do it. After the corn dogs and the fish sticks have been sitting on the rollers under the heat lamp for 16 hours, they're fair game. Your breath smells gross. Don't come over here. Do not come. I am warning you, Vicky. Don't. I'll kiss your sister again. Vicky and I started here at the exact same time about a month ago. I am already in charge of the bathroom key. What's up? Oh, hold up. Somebody's coming up right here. No, 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 not over there. You're skimmer. Come this way, this side. Nice truck. I like that truck. Just need some gas, please. Just fill her up. Cut the engine off, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Ain't you ever filled up a truck before? What kind of gas you want? I, I, don't, I don't know, man. You want 87, 89, 93? Well, what kind of engine has got? I'm pretty sure it's got the big engine. Is there a big engine? What's your timing set at? I'm not sure about that. Is your compression 12 or is it higher? Yeah. What kind of oil are we doing? We got 5W30, 5W40? Maybe. 5W30, my man, my man. You hear that? You hear that? You want me to fix that? Mm, um. You don't need power mods too? You got the same stock pistons in there? Or did you put different pistons in it? I'm not really sure. My dad bought me this truck when I turned 16. Since you don't know, I'm going to give you a little bit of 93. And then I do this thing where I mix about 10% diesel in there. It gives the engine not only more power, but it runs way cleaner for the environment. You care about the environment? Yes, I know that one. You put the tips together, you do it at the same time. Uh, I don't. You don't got anybody over there. Classic you. Classic Vicky. You know what, actually it's, yeah, weird. I thought it was on empty, but it's actually on F. Hold they, on, man, no, 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 we, we're good. We're, yeah, no, I'm, I could do it right now. Gas. We can get you. Thank you. Okay, whatever. Probably Vicky's fault. <laughs> Trying to quit dipping so much. I got gas all over my hands. It should dry. Yeah, it's dry enough. Uh, just so you know, I think smoking is very dumb. Ugh. This is just a piece of paper I rolled up. I think it's stupid. Don't do it. Let's start the video. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. As you can see today, we have a few fire extinguishers. We got a bunch of them. We've lined them all up in a row. And what I want to know is, are they bulletproof? And how bulletproof are they? So we're going to start small, like we normally do, with a 22 long rifle to see how many fire extinguishers it will go through. Place your bets in the comments below. Definitely a bit nervous about this. Uh, there's a good chance they could come back this way. <laughs> okay, we may have only hit one there. What do we got? In, no out. The bullets stayed in there did not hurt our second. Let's try something a little more powerful. Let's try a nine millimeter. So that'll probably go through more than just a half. Uh, let's shoot it out of, got another gun, a new one. I needed this one though. Uh, it's a Zev Technologies uh, OZ9. It's their new pistol that they've developed all in house. It's actually pretty cool. So it's kind of a competition slash self-defense pistol. Uh, you can see these nice slide cuts we have in it that are totally out of focus. There, there we go. Uh, also in the top, you can see that kind of 
fluted barrel there. It's a threaded barrel also, flared magwell. And one thing that's kind of cool on this gun is the frame, even though it looks like polymer and it is polymer here, this whole thing here is steel and that steel extends the entire frame. It is just sleeved in polymer. So it's pretty cool. So all these rails that it runs on are much longer than most polymer pistols. And it's got some nice sights. It also is cut for a micro red dot. Let's go ahead and just see how it shoots. I have not shot this gun at all, so you guys get to do it for the first time with me. We'll shoot just some targets first, and then we'll see how the nine millimeter does uh, <laughs> against the fire extinguishers. Shoot a little faster now. See how the muzzle flips. Because I think that's what they're kind of trying to go for in this thing. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna go turn the GoPros on and then we'll shoot the fire extinguishers. Five. I think it's gonna kill five fire extinguishers. Ah! We'll never know. We'll never know. I think I see five on the ground. I just, <laughs> I just don't want to go in there and breathe that. It really burns the nose. <laughs> so we have one, there's a hole in that one. This one looks full. So this one just got knocked over. Still good. Dang, this one too just got knocked over. Still good. Definitely a hole in that one. Ooh, that's where it stopped. This one, nothing. So a nine millimeter only went through two. Well, it really didn't go through two. Two. Fire extinguishers would have saved your life. It went in here, out there, in here, stopped there. Pretty cool. Pretty neat looking little pistol. A lot of attention to detail. I thought I'd get a little more penetration, like usual, but the nine millimeter was not gonna cut it. So we're gonna have to step it up to a rifle, I think. I think we just need to skip ahead and go to a big rifle, like this LMT chambered in 308. I, this is a gun I've had for a while, but it had a big quad rail on it. I got a nice smaller foreign put on it now, which I really like. We have a silencer co suppressor on it, and I just got a new optic. I had a 1 to 8x scope on here, but I decided I didn't need an 8x, so I wanted to go something a little smaller. So this is an Elcan Spectre, and it's a 1 to 4x. It's really pretty a neat little sight, so we can just switch from 1x to 4x with just the flip of that lever right there. Really cool, a lot of military use of this thing nowadays. I got it from opticsplanet.com. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Uh, they have some super good prices on scopes and everything, so there's a link down there below. Go check them out, and uh, let's see how this thing does against all of those. <laughs> that one came for me. Dang, that is a big difference there. Blows a giant hole. That one's full, that one's full. Dang, just knocks them off. This is the last one and we only killed four. So it went through three and then this one looks like it just got hit by shrapnel. And that's our last one. No bullet in there so I think it just hit it really hard. We popped four fire extinguishers with a 308. There comes a time in a man's life when you just gotta go get a 50 BMG to really see what is what and get the job done. And also, since we're doing it big, let's go ahead and put an armor piercing round in there. Let's see what happens with a 50 BMG. It just launched one about I don't know, 40 feet over there. Come on, clear, the anticipation's killing me. There's still a lot standing on that table. Here's our first one, I think. Perfect hole straight through there, both sides. That's the second one. It's starting to go to the side a little bit. Let's go check this one that went flying. Wow. This was probably, I would guess, our third one because the hole is the biggest in this one. So it's actually very hard to shoot 50 BMG 
through a line of anything. I've noticed that with the Demolition Ranch videos is 50 BMGs, they go into something and then they go whoosh, and they shoot out the side, which I think is exactly what just happened here. So the black tip is the armor piercing round. A blue tip is an incendiary round. So when this thing hits, it goes and makes a huge flash. I wanna see what it does when I hit a fire extinguisher with this. It should do nothing. It should uh, have a very minimal flash, if anything. But I just wanna know, fire extinguisher versus incendiary round, if anything cool happens. Ugh. This is not a light gun. <laughs> Let me show you where that went. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me go get the other one for comparison. Here are the three that were hit by the armor penetrator round. So nice small entrance, pretty small exit, pretty small entrance. Exit's now getting bigger in the second one. Here is entrance, going in straight up sideways, coming out in a big hole here. Versus incendiary round, nice small entrance. Explosion happens inside the fire extinguisher and just blows out the back and bottom of that thing. How did that happen? Which is also why it flew at me, because the back of it opened up super fast and it propelled it toward me up into that tree over my shoulder. But wait, there's more. So for this entire video, I've had this fire going. I got this started before I ever started filming today. Uh, so I've had this fire going and I keep coming over between scenes and throwing more logs on it. So we have a super hot bed of coals down there. Really nice hot fire. I want to know if I put this in the fire, it's a totally full fire extinguisher, will it explode? And the second thing I wanna know is, if it does explode, will it put out the fire? Probably not. I'm thinking it will explode and will not put out the fire. But my predictions are wrong quite often, as you have seen. Okay, kids, don't try this at home. I'm just gonna set it right. Perfect, and run away. All right, I'm gonna give it seven minutes to cook in that fire, and if it hasn't done anything in seven minutes, well, I might just have to find some other way to pop it. What if I build a fort to block? Oh no, oh, I'm wide open, I'm wide open. Okay, much better. This thing totally looks bulletproof, right? Woo! <laughs> now, is the fire still going? It looks like it. I see the white from the fire extinguisher and I see the blue smoke from the fire coming up. Maybe it's out, let's go look. I'm going in, mm, hold my breath. Dang it, still raging on. Okay, so it just popped the top off. Easy as that. I think you're so tough. It's actually, it did go down a bit. Turns out fire extinguishers work way better when you use them the way they're intended to be used. That's all we got for you today. Thank you for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!